Kashi Nair, welcome to the show. Thank you. Kashi, your debut feature, Sardar Ka Grandson, is all set to premiere on Netflix on May 18th. That's Tuesday. What yeah. What is the feeling? And are you anxious, nervous, or are you having sleepless nights? Uh, yesterday was my first sleepless night ever, but no, I think there's a lot of excitement. Thankfully, uh, I mean, whoever we've shown the film to, to some extent, everybody's come back with a positive response. So here's hoping that it all goes well. But yeah, seventeenth is going to definitely be a sleepless night. Do you think today's generation will connect with the film? Uh, definitely, because uh, one is the partition is a part of our history. Everybody's heard their grandparents talking about. their home that they've left behind apart from all of that i think as uh, the generation that now probably not witness partition per se etc we're also a generation that uh, you know i've left my childhood home my grandparents home uh, back in belgaum where i used to spend all my uh, you know summer holidays etc it still pains me that i no longer have that house an attachment to a house i think is a universal concept and a universal emotion that everybody has so i think that will definitely ring true for everybody but apart from that partition is so ingrained in us in our history that it's something that i think every generation for years to come is still going to understand and you know have that ethos towards it you know apart from arjun kapoor and rakul preet singh your film has its seasoned actors like kavajit singh neena gupta and soni rajdhan yeah. you know while directing sardar ka grandson maybe through casting or the camera was in the wrong place were you able to capture something that ended up being something very special honestly you put all these uh, you put kalajit so anina ji soni rajdan and divya seth in one room and it's like children on uh, you know chocolate <laughs> on sugar high because they are one they're so comfortable with each other i mean before calling action or everybody's going jabra 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 and the minute you call action they're all into character the minute you call cut they're again back at it there were times when we used to just keep rolling because they were still playing off each other they were still having the moments of bringing something new to the scene honestly there are bits, bits here and there in the film uh, when you watch also you realize that it's just impromptu and improv acting that come forth because of the kind of relationship and the kind of experience they all have with each other and that also said that also happened with arjun and neena ji or it was arjun and rakul everybody was feeding off each other's energy on set per se so yeah that was you know uh, the first film of every director is said to be his or her purest you know uh, for example because it's it's the world they know the best they the world they know closely for example uh, films like wake up said luck by chance khosla ka ghosla Uh, these are directors who made an impact with the first film. Are you hoping that Sardar Ka Grandson would be uh, that film for you? Of course, I mean it's the first film, so it definitely has to set the career rolling per se. Uh, it is the film uh, also that is obviously you know every film that you write you will put a part of yourself in, and this well. you know since i write also along with anuja i've written the film and i think a part of me will always be a part of the film whether it's the characters or the setting or you know the weird quirky little things that we put into the film and obviously i hope that in the future films also you always do leave a part of yours because that was that is what makes the film pure at the end of the day but definitely this is this is the defining film i mean from here it is hopefully just onwards and upwards you have grown up in a film family your dad shashilal nair has directed many films like grahan angar or sharukh khan juhi chawla star or uh, one two ka four how much influence your dad have on your work i think subconsciously to some extent he must have but i mean my father probably never wanted me to get into this but he saw the fact that since i was a child i've always said this is what i want to do he always probably in his head thought that oh it's just because you know she thinks it's glamorous and this and that but eventually he understood when i started just doing college uh, short films and everything he knew that i want to do this this is what i want to pursue honestly we both have two very different ways of working very different ways of thinking all of it but uh, i mean subconsciously you know when you're watching a film with him he'll give you he'll tell you oh, you know notice this and those type of things so that's always been there but yeah i mean 
at the end of the day he's the father he definitely has some influence so a lot of times he fights more than anything <laughs> so which is your favorite film of your dad ah uh, when i was a kid it was probably parivar because i used to watch it non stop and as i grew older it definitely is angar hands up is there a film uh, that you think has changed your life or the one you can you think you can watch over and over again again the reason why i became a filmmaker was probably since a, since childhood because when i watched mary poppins brilliant number of times that's the defining thing that bond, that made me feel that oh shit i can do this you know you can take people into this whole different world but as you grow older um i was exposed to cinema paradiso actually and that film kind of put everything in perspective because the emotion that that film carries and that and it just the way it celebrates cinema to some extent it just puts everything in perspective for you know a young impressionable mind and that film i think really made made me like i knew at that point that okay this is definitely what i want to do you shot a short film and won a contest if if i'm not wrong uh, yeah. on your mobile phone way back in 2004 Would yeah. you talk to us uh, about making a, a, a film on 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 a mobile phone? Uh, honestly, when you're that young, it all that matters is getting your story across. You really don't care whether you have the best handy cam, whether you have the best phone, or whatever it was. At that point, thankfully, uh, Nokia was doing this contest, and uh, you know, I had by then I had seen done at least three or four short films for college, and they're kind of well received, all of them. So I said, okay, why not? You know, shooting on a mobile phone, how difficult can it be? And it's actually the most easiest thing to do now. And today's day and age, so the mobile phone everybody is using to do everything. At that point, it was like, oh, okay, something novel. Let's try it. And we did try it. And I mean, you we shot for a whole day, and then we put it on uh, the edit machine. Eventually, had the film ready. And about four to five months later, Nokia had the you know the screening of all the films, and there were such beautiful films that people had created at that time. Again, all young aspiring filmmakers. I mean, in and especially in today's day and age, we have access to everything. We have access to all the technology, literally on your laptop or your phone, for that matter. It's all about storytelling. So just find that one story that really makes you know makes you feel something, and just take your phone and shoot it. you don't need all the tam jam of everything to say a story so i think that's where you know everybody needs to start inculcating that when they want to be young aspiring filmmakers like even my uh, my 80s i always tell them i'm like one right and two just take just go shoot it doesn't matter what you're shooting how you're shooting this thing it's just about trying to know how to tell your story right you know although sadar ka grandson is not your first film You have uh, directed a TV movie called uh, Shadi Wadi and All That. Shadi Wadi and All That. Yeah. You have also directed episodes of Star Plus's uh, TV up. show. What have you learned from these experiences that helped you uh, while directing this film? I think each film has been, or uh, even the series for that matter. Uh, I go in with this very clean, clear perspective, saying that listen, we're all as a team working together to make this happen. and i think that's one thing that you know transcended from the first film till now the beauty of everything is that i always had a backing of nikhil advani and ma entertainment uh in the sense the first time nikhil came to me with shadi wadi and all that it was in a general meeting i thought he was talking about him doing the film and then he was like oh kashi sir directed i was literally like one second what is wrong with you have you lost your mind <laughs> and from there in the sense he had that faith in me so i had that faith in myself and then it's just taking each day at the time you know the minute i think about oh my god you know i'm going to probably shoot my first film or i'm going to you know shoot this 100 shoot for 180 days of this series or even take a film like this which is quite well big in a way big mounted if you can say that and the moment you take that pressure on yourself and that oh shit this is what i'm going out to do uh, i think it will kind of you know get you off balance to some extent so just take each day as it comes that's what i've learned through all these experiences how much influence uh, does nikhil advani's work have on your work and what kind of equation you have with nikhil advani is he the perfect mentor he is beyond the perfect mentor honestly uh, no one can ask for a better support system than nikhil madhu uh, and monisha who are the three uh, pillars of ma entertainment Uh, I mean, literally, when I started out, I was a kid. I didn't know much. 
I just knew that I wanted to do this, and I just had. I mean, the first meeting, I said, "Oh, I've done some some, some short films." But the first thing he told, turned around and said, "That's a very important thing. Why are you shying away from it?" And he's always been a support. He's always made sure that he's given each one of us an opportunity to, you know, explore ourselves. He's never been, um, you know, sometimes people just try to put their opinions or their thoughts onto you. He's never been that. If he has some experience or some thought to share, he'll always share it. But then at the end of the day, it comes down to you know what's right and you know what's best for yourself. So just take your decision being level-headed in a way. But uh, influence, so I mean, he's the house that I've grown up in in a way. So whatever said and done, that it, subconsciously also that influence will always be there. So was he the bouncing board for you on this film? Yes, definitely. since the time we wrote actually nikhil is nikhil and monisha are the uh, people who derived the thought of this film because they came across an article that spoke about uh, you know this builder moving a house from manisha to kerala and then we started doing research and we came about you know the whole structural relocation process and nikhil's parents actually uh, grandparents had a lot of partition stories and they've grown up hearing all of them so we put both of these things together and now we created this film and he's always been like he's always been the support system that you know you can go to for anything and finally kashvi what is your big plan where do you see yourself 5 years from now will you be directing film or will you be taking a break and then maybe making a short film or uh, you'll be uh, will see you directing uh, an original series again they have to say Uh, I'm not going to think that much in the future. In the sense, right now I'm just living the Sardar Ka Jansan dream. But I do have a show in development for one of the platforms. And uh, taking a break is not an option. I mean, now is the time to sit and explore and you know tell our stories, especially because we have such mediums, whether it's theatre, OTT, or you know putting out a short film. I am not going to restrict myself saying that no, I you know I'm just going to do films for this. I mean, the story demands it. If I have a thought or an idea and a story, and I want to make a short film. Booya, go make a short film. Yeah. Kashvinath, thank you so much for your time, and all the thank best you. for Sadaka Grandson. Thank you so much.